so many lovely plants here. You know, if you're looking to add a contemporary touch to your garden design, I can highly recommend coming to a specialist nursery just like this one. But you need to come before you start the landscaping. That way, you can design the whole project around the plants you love. Oh, this is so good. Mark, how are you going? Hey, buddy. This is a great urban jungle. I mean, tell me a bit about this combination you've got going on. Yeah, so we've got a Queensland bottle tree. And you can see what could you underplant that with? It'd be easy to swap yeah. stuff around. That's why we've got the cashulas going with the zoysias and the copper mm. spoons with the cousin it. It's just to show all the different types of layers and how it all works together. This is just the plants? Yeah. Have you got any landscapes I can look at with them in place? Sure, I do. I've got one just down the road. All right, let's head off. All right. Mark, this place is pretty understated, isn't it? Yeah, you could say that, man. Incredible. Mate. Absolutely sensational. And this view as well. Yeah, not many places with a view like this. No, there isn't. But you know what? There's lots of little pockets of design in this garden that you could take home and really make your own. Awesome. Wow, this swimming pool really is something else, isn't it? It's yeah. like an Olympic-sized pool. Yeah, pretty close to it. Yeah, it's amazing. But, you know, without the planting next to it, it would look too stark, I think. How have you achieved the planting here? Yeah, by adding in raised planter box, just so we can get over all the bush rock, um, just by using a slim core tan edging. Yeah, so how thick is that? There's only three it's mil, right? Only three mil with a rolled edge to keep it safe. That's really good for saving space, because it doesn't take up a footprint. Exactly. Yeah, lovely. And cost-effective. And cost-effective. Tell me about some of the plants you've used, because it's really yeah. exposed here. I mean, it's a terrible day weather today. Yeah. They would cop it. We've got our cashulas, mm. the Max Cooks and the Bluebirds. Yes. We've got the Blue Guys, the Cousinets, the Xanadus and the Miss Muffets. And I like the way you've got the Cousinet here as well that's going to spill over and tie with the front. But what is the finish on this wall? It's micro cement render. Micro cement yeah. render, yeah, that's very flash. I like that very much. You've got over some really tricky situations of bush rock, no soil, but yet you've created planting and texture, and it's going to look this good all year round. Are you afraid? Can you hear us now? See, we got Up on this section, Mark, you've used the same core 10, but you've got a really chunky effect, obviously yeah. wrapping a wall, is that right? Yeah, so this is an old brick wall, and yes. we've just wrapped the core 10 over the top to hide it. But I like the repetition of the mother-in-law's tongue. It leads you to this incredible staircase. How difficult was this to put in? There was a lot of work involved, a lot of engineering. Mm -hmm. uh, each landing and step was poured individually, wow. stripped and troweled. Really, this is a feature in itself, and it just lifts the whole garden. Yeah, the, pretty much this whole backyard was designed around this set of stairs and landing. So, Mark, these are obviously a pretty costly expense to put into a garden, but if you wanted to do it at home, you could do it out of timber, maybe some sandstone or brick. What you're trying to create is this lovely shadow line to give you that designer look. But I guess the take-home tip here is to really consider every single space in your garden exactly. to elevate yep. it. Yeah. You come up into this top part of the garden and there's just lovely textures in the planting, but yeah. this dragon tree is an absolute whopper. It took five of us to carry it in. Five guys, so you brought it all the way down. All the here, way yeah. down. I really like the way it's balanced off by the grass tree over here. Yeah. But there's loads of little views I can see around. Do you mind if I go and take a bit yeah, of a look? Go for it. Oh, lovely. Now, we've all got those neglected or high utility areas in the garden that we tend to forget about. And, you know, you might put down some gravel, you might put down some stepping stones, you might ignore it altogether. But here, they've used these lovely organic bluestone steppers. Now, not only do they look great, but the colours tie in with the various concrete finishes they've used around the property, and they've softened it all with this. This is a zoysia grass. Now, this is clumping, and it's going to fill in lovely. I sometimes call this Teletubby grass. It's taken this forgotten area into something. It's a really nice spot in the garden. And they've finished it off with these raphis palms. Now, raphis are really good if you don't get much sun and much light, and they've transformed this alcove into a lovely tropical feel. More often than not, when you want to have a kid's area in a garden, 
It tends to detract from the designer elements, but here they've combined the two perfectly. The grass wouldn't grow, so they put down concrete and they've got space for a basketball hoop, but they've also put in wood storage and built-in bench seating to make this a really practical space. What every good garden needs, Isn't eh? it? Especially on a wet day like today, it's really nice around here. I'm really enjoying the heat. I think so. Every backyard needs a fire pit. Yeah, this one I absolutely love. How did you create this? Uh, this is all laser cut form ply. Okay. Uh, so we worked out the radius and sent it off to get lasered and yep. then brought it back in, formed it together, poured the concrete, stripped it, trout it off and finished. So there's quite a process to get this look and it just looks effortless. It's a huge process. Well worth it. I love the way the plants dissect into it, really softening it, because otherwise it'd be quite harsh. Yeah, and that's why we also went with the crazy pave on the ground, just to try and mix up the materials a bit as well. Yeah, and they complement each other really well. I guess if you don't have a view like this to look out on, the circular design works really well, because you can have stools and it kind of faces the energy inwards. Yeah. And if you had one tip to give someone who's looking at designing a garden like this, what would it be? You don't have to have a hundred features in your backyard. Mm -hmm. Just pick the main couple of features and do it right. So less, but do it well. Yeah, less okay. is more. Well, this garden is a real masterclass in form and function, and thank you so much for showing me around. I've really enjoyed it. Anytime, thank you. Let's get some more wood on this fire. Yeah. Huh?